Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Prisdale, and today I will be smoking the Blackbird. And this is the Unkind by Blackbird Cigar Company. And this is a really interesting 5x50 Robusto. It comes featured in this beautiful purple band. It says Unkind Cubra on it, which is a testament to the Brazilian Cubra wrapper. It is a binder of Dominican descent along with Criollo 98, Pennsylvania, and an entire mixture of different fillers. They actually put a raven on this as this was part of their initial release when the brand was first uh, showcased at PCA Trade Show back about five, six years ago. But being that the owner of the company already had a cigar that was labeled the Raven, they call this the unkind because a flock of ravens is also known as an unkindness or an unkind. A lot of citrus and vanilla off this coal draw. Very unique and very interesting. I dig it. Not really barnyard hay or anything like that. There is kind of a closed foot on this cigar. You'll see this on the overhead. The wrapper has some really nice fermentation spots on it, but not overwhelming like the straight jacket by Asylum. The veins are very pronounced and it's a little darker than milk chocolate on the wrapper. Heavy spice notes off the retrohale on the initial lighting. Really delicious creamy notes on the palate. So I'm gonna smoke this down and we'll be back. So we are back and we are just at the first third of the Blackbird Unkind. This cigar has, th this cigar has been really nice. Very well balanced, rich, light pepper notes, rich leather, touch of citrus on it, almost like an orange kind of candied citrus. I really like. Lots of walnut on this stick. On the nutty side, the walnut, very reminiscent of the Davidoff Winston Churchill. Very pronounced walnut, and I love it. The burn has been razor sharp. The ash just ashed off by itself after about the half inch point, and it's been burning fantastic ever since. The Unkind, being my first Blackbird Cigar Company, so far is a great start. I'm gonna go through the second third and then I'll be back with some pairing ideas, kind of my overall impressions before we get to the final third. Alrighty, so we are into the second third of the Blackbird Unkind. And the biggest difference between the first third and the second third is the walnut nuttiness is still present, but there has been a steady increase in caramel sweetness, making the cigar out of bounds delicious. Uh, initially, I was thinking that this cigar was going to have like the walnut notes, the nutty components, the leathery components, and then, you know, the black pepper notes to it. But with the addition of caramel in the second third, now we're getting into more transition, more flavor, great balance, terrific burn line, and I am thoroughly impressed with everything that this Blackbird Unkind is offering right now. Super caramel, creamy, nutty, buttery. I mean, it's got it's got everything working. And if this can maintain, this is gonna be a Cigar of the Year candidate at this point. I do think that as far as pairings go, it's probably a little early. We gotta get into the final third just to see, but with how much walnut, blah, 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 with how much walnut nuttiness was present at the end of the first third, moving into the second, and now with this uptick in caramel sweetness, I totally think going back to that Davidoff Winston review, you could do a lot of great things with Calvados, with Apple Jack, with Apple Brandy, with some mold apple cider. You add in some apple, caramel apples, man. Tis the season. We are just finishing up the final third of the Blackbird Unkind, and this cigar has been tremendous, including in the final third. Just a really great overall stick. It hit that caramel note on the second third, followed all the way through into the final third, even added a little bit of vanilla, the orange zest sweetness, kind of candied orange came back. I mean, this is a, this is a top cigar of the year for me in the 10 to 12 
MSRP price point. And I've been very fortunate, you know, most of the cigars as of recent date have been very, very good. And this is just another one to add to the mix when we get to December. Thank you so much to Sean T for sending this over and for allowing me to try my first Blackbird cigar. I think that uh, I definitely have a lot more in store in the future with this company because these are absolutely delicious. So thank you all so much for watching, for liking, for commenting, for subscribing. As far as pairings go on this stick, like I said before, Applejack and Apple Calvados, or any Calvados for that matter, probably a great addition and a great pairing. Also, I think that you could do well with some Brut Champagne, some Blanc de Blanc, some of the fine sparkling wines that are out there. Thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, and helping to grow the community here at Master Your Ash. I look forward to catching you again for another cigar review.